the planning done, the preparations begin. The weapons both sophisticated and basic. This is a twin bottle Molotov cocktail. They are using two small bottles filled with kerosene, a wick of cloth at the top to be lit with a match moments before it's thrown, all tied together with brown duct tape. The Mao is smiling and laughing as they work. They use two small soft drink bottles and not a single large one to keep the crude weapon easy to carry. A simple weapon. It would be totally useless against armored personnel carriers. But our Javans move around in open trucks where a flaming bomb could wreak havoc. While one group handles the bottles, the better trained carders pull out the chips and wires. The green silicon and red wires, ominous. This is the trigger for an improvised explosive device. Red, blue and green wires being carefully soldered together. Two batteries attached. The kit assembled into a small black box. One lone green wire left exposed that will trigger the explosion. The training begins. Sticks broken to make booby traps. They are now prepared for the ambush. They are now prepared for murder. This is the killer arsenal India's brave hearts are up against. These are no machetes or country pistols. AK-47s and AK-56s. The tools of the Taliban and African guerrilla armies now found in droves in the hinterland of Bihar, Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Orisha. It doesn't end there. Submachine guns capable of firing 400 rounds a minute. Used to brutally kill India's brave hearts. And grenades. And more worryingly, mortars, usually the preserve of armies, along with mortar shells. Here's a Maoist pulling out some mortar shells from a jacket pocket. The better to display them. Actually, a huge amount of arms and ammunition. Many of the foreign make. Bulletproof jackets stolen from security forces. Put on display as trophies. Dozens and dozens of bullet magazines. Carried in backpacks to ensure that when the hailstorm begins, it doesn't stop. Some stolen from security forces, some from security camps. But where are the rest of these sophisticated weapons coming from? These uh, weapons which are originating from other countries has come to the Maoists through our adjacent country. This is violent propaganda. A shameless show of strength meant to strike fear and obedience. This is the prelude and the aftermath of the killing fields. The Maoists gear up to spill blood. Have a look at the systematic operations. The road blocked by cut branches. Exactly as discussed at the planning meeting. Some take their positions behind trees to fire the first hail of bullets. The rare unit hiding in the grass, waiting to close the noose once the trap is sprung. And then the bloodbath begins. <laughs> 